Hi Tiger Scouts, uh, my name's Carl. And I'm Alvin. And we're uh, going to be looking at the Tiger Adventure Team Tiger today. And so let's just get right into that uh, uh, adventure. Uh, requirement one uh, says to uh, talk about some of the teams that you're a part of. So I want you to think a little bit about some of the teams that you're a part of. You're certainly part of a Cub Scout den, right, as a Tiger. Uh, so what other kind of teams, Alvin, can you think that they might be a part of? Well, the obvious one, if they're playing sports, is their sports team. Certainly. But what about school? What about school? Yeah, their classroom is a team. Well, and they may have their classroom divided into different teams. Oh, definitely. So it could be the, the team of of students that are sitting at a particular table could be a team. And they could be working together uh, and, and going through uh, the class rotation of, of uh, activities that they're doing during the day. Uh, what other kind of teams do you think they might be a part of? Well, of course, in the neighborhood there's different teams. Could be different teams in the neighborhood. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe at your uh, place of worship um, whether it's a, a Sunday school class or some some similar type of uh, uh, class for your particular age group, uh, they could be a team as well that you're a part of. Uh, so there's many different teams uh, that you have uh, a role to play, and uh, you're you you can be a very important part of that team regardless of what team it is. Okay. And Carl, I think that uh, one of the most important one is their family. Their Absolutely. Team. Absolutely. We don't want to forget that, t that family team uh, because you're a very important part of the family team. Well, let's look at requirement two. Uh, requirement two says to talk about your tiger team and to make a chart of showing all the ways that you might be helpful. And so we have a a DIN duty chart, and I don't know if, if in your uh, particular DIN you have something like this, uh, but there are certainly a number of activities that you can have a part in, uh, and maybe it's good for your group to kind of rotate through or, or, or change up uh, from job to job, uh, perhaps from meeting to meeting. So. Uh, Let's talk about that DIN chart there a little bit, Alvin. Okay, before we talk about each position, let's talk about why we have a chart and why the team is important. Okay, if, why do we have a chart? Well, Carl, if we didn't have a chart and have different people doing different jobs, mm -hmm. it'd be a lot of work on one person, wouldn't it? Well, yes it would. So, with the duty chart for the DIN, and different people having different jobs to do as part of the team, it makes everything go quicker, easier, smoother, and they can have a lot more fun. And everybody gets to participate that way too, don't they? Yes. So, on our chart here, there's different jobs. One is help set up. That's an important job. Yes. Opening prayer. Yes. Flag announcer, flag bearer, scout oath, scout law, and then closing and clean up. Oh, those are all important. All important jobs, and they should take turns doing different things. Don't go each week and say, well, I'm going to be the one to help set up. Take a different position so you can get used to doing different things and learn different things. That's right. You could be the flag bearer one week where you're bringing the flag in for uh, your opening ceremony uh, in your den. Uh, and then another week you might be the flag announcer uh, who's going to lead the group in the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and then maybe somebody else leads the group in the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. Uh, and uh, that way everybody gets to participate and everybody has a part in the DIN meeting and uh, you've got a chance to do different things 
uh, from week to week in your meetings. So uh, that bin chart just kind of looks a little something like that, just a little something easy to, to fix up. Your DIN leader may already have something like this, uh, and so this is just a suggestion of what you might have in your particular DIN. Um, requirement three talks about picking a job that you can do for your family and something that you could do, oh, at least three times uh, in the next three weeks for your family uh, because you play an important role in your family. Uh, that family team that we talked about earlier. And so there are certainly uh, some, some chores or tasks that you can help out with around the house. Isn't that right, Alvin? Yes, it sure is, Carl, because, you know, if your caring adult works all day, comes home, they need some help around the house, and it may seem like little things to you, but to them it's very big things. Indeed, indeed. You know, you could, just doing simple things like picking your toys up when you're through playing with them and putting them away uh, so they're not all scattered out in the floor all the time, uh, that's a big help uh, to your parents or your guardians. Uh, and, and again, it shows uh, the help that you can be to your family team. So why don't you think about uh, a task that you might be able to do uh, for your family and uh, let them know that you're going to do that uh, for the next three weeks and uh, see how you can help. Uh, what kind of things could you do? Well, you could help set the table for a meal. Uh, you could help clear the table, uh, take the dirty dishes and so forth uh, back to the kitchen, put them in the sink so they can be washed. Um, you could certainly keep your dirty clothes picked up, put in the dirty clothes basket or, or wherever you might put your uh, dirty clothes. Uh, and then again, we talked about uh, keeping your toys picked up. Maybe you've got a pet, uh, like a dog or a cat or a fish or a bird or a turtle or a hamster or, well, you get the idea. Uh, but if you've got a pet, that pet needs to be fed yes. and watered. Cleaned up after. Cleaned up after. And that may be something that you can do uh, for your family as well. So uh, think about that a little bit and the, what you might be able to do to help your family. Now, requirement four uh, talks about doing a service project uh, and involving your family in that. Now, Service projects are something that we like to do in scouting. Uh, they give us an opportunity to do what we call a good turn. And that's doing something special uh, for a friend or a neighbor or even just our family. Uh, but they give us an opportunity to kind of give back uh, to the community that we live in uh, and the people that uh, help us from time to time. So. Uh, Alvin, do you have some ideas of a service project that the family might do together? Well, Carl, you talked about the community, out in the community, and there's a lot of teams out in the community. Yes, there are. If you got a park in your community, there's a team that takes care of that park, mows mm -hmm. grass, does upkeep on the playground equipment or things like that. Well, I'm sure they would love to have somebody come along and volunteer and help them out. Well, that would be that would be a good thing. Yes, you got other teams. You got maybe a fire department. Yeah. Well, what could they do at the fire department? Well, they could just do a little service project. Maybe just show the firefighters some appreciation of maybe making them cookies or something and take to them. It, that'd be a great idea. Yes. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yes. And uh, you could do the same thing uh, maybe for the police department, make them yes. some cookies uh, or make a little treat for them. Um, uh, I'm also thinking that your the place where you have your meetings, uh, the place where you have your DIN meetings, uh, it may be uh, at, a, at a church building, it could be at a community center, uh, but a lot of times 
uh, places like that, you know, you know, they need a little little help making sure all the trash is picked up outside the building uh, because some people, you know, aren't very careful with how they handle their trash and uh, sometimes it can wind up uh, getting in the flower beds or, or uh, just getting scattered in the yard or the parking lot uh, around the building where you meet. So maybe uh, something that you could do uh, with your family or your den is to actually go and help clean up some of that so the so that your meeting place is is good. Well, you mentioned flare beds. If your place of meeting or the local fire department or the town hall, you may want to check with them if they don't have a flare bed. They might appreciate you and your family or your den coming by and doing a little community service project and planting some flowers around their building. A little beautification. Yes. Yes, and that would be a good thing to do as well. All right. You know, there's another place that we uh, we use a lot, but we don't think about it, is the public library. Yes. They yes, could, we do. They do a great service for the community, and they would love some type of little project there, which might be helping them clean up put books back on the shelves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are all great ideas. So you might w just want to get with some of your your family members and maybe check with some of these uh, places like the library, uh, the police department, the fire department, and see if there's something that uh, that they'd like some help with uh, from, from your family and from you. All right. Uh, Requirement five is an interesting one, and it's really up to you uh, to, to fulfill uh, all of these requirements, but especially number five, and that's to make a chart or a picture showing how you make a better team because you're like other members of your team or because you're different from other members of the team. Uh, do all the members of the team have to be alike? No. They don't. And, you know, whenever people have difference, whether it be age, size, whatever, that's a diversity. Yes, it is. That's a big word. But it means uh, that we're different, but we can be the same. Exactly. I like the chart here in their Tiger book mm -hmm. that they fill out and list like their favorite sport, their favorite music, favorite food, because everybody don't like the same type of food. Everybody doesn't like pizza? Well, they like different stuff on pizza. Oh, okay. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Yes. All right. So that's something, Scouts, that you can do uh, is, is to show uh, how you're uh, similar or like other members of your Tiger Den. Uh, and how you're different from other members of your Tiger Den. And that'll fulfill the requirements for item number five for this adventure. Okay, all right. Well, Alvin, I appreciate you helping me today going over these requirements for Team Tiger. And so Tiger and your adult partners, uh, we'll look for you uh, to, to get engaged and get busy and to work on some of these requirements so that uh, your scout has the opportunity to earn the Team Tiger recognition item. So thanks for being with us today and we'll see you later. And remember, it's great, great to, to be, be alive, alive in scouting. scouting.